All right, let's clean this guy up. We're going to start with his left arm. And as you can see, his left arm is in his body, and this is not normal. I'm thinking with one clean swoop, we might be able to fix it just from up here at the shoulder. If we pivot it out, right, like this, then that should be good enough. And we'll do something about the thumb later, or maybe we can bend the elbow also. But anyways, all right? And I have auto keying on. Um, and so, you know, whatever I move it, it's just going to stay there. Um, but what's going to happen is in the very next key, 111, the arm is going to snap right back. And we can't be setting, th I mean, this is only 205 keys. So it's actually possible to go frame by frame and set each bone where you want it. You know, this is not a lot. But I know that in about a three-minute song, you know, the capture is going to be about 4,000 frames, 3,000-something frames. So this is not what, you know, this isn't, isn't the fix. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we're going to do... First of all, is I want to be able to see what's spinning, you know, what, what's pointing where, all right? So down here in our mail command line, let's type um, toggle local rotation axes with the first word capitalized, all of them together, um, toggle local rotation axes. I'm going to type that and hit, well, first click the bone that you want to check, right? Well, let me turn this mesh off. All right, click the bone, and then type that and hit enter. And now you'll see that I have a, a little orientation gizmo that shows you where locally where X, Y, and Z are pointing, all right? Next, we need to figure out which one it is that we need to, uh, to turn, right? I mean, I can spin this, and it to me, it looks like it's either X or Y from the way both of them are moving, right? But if I, you know, um, but we need to be sure. So what we're going to do is, uh, and you know what? Whenever you go into experimental mode, you should save your project, all right? Save it, give it a new name, you know, so you know that you were safe up to a point and after that you know it doesn't matter what happens so save your project and um, now we can start experimenting right so click the bone let's open up the graph editor go to uh, windows uh, animation editors graph editor and in the graph editor you can see a graphing of all the movements, the transform movements, and the rotation movements of your bones, whichever bone you have clicked. All right. And if you want to see all of them, then click, you know, click the the root, and then hit uh, and hit the select select hierarchy. Right now, we want to fix this arm, and I need to know which way it's moving. I don't really want uh, translate. That's movement, and when we're clicking the bones, we're only wanting rotation, which is orientation also, right? So which one of these? If we click each one of them, we can see up here in the graph editor the things that are outside, and then we're only concerned with what's inside. And this, you know, there's, there's, there's some movement here. All right, so let's click each one of those. Rotate X, Y, and Z. Z looks pretty clean, right? Um, y and X has a lot of movement. Um, now, in when you're trying to fix a spike, then you're looking for these kind of jagged movements, all right? And then, you know, something that twitches or is way out of normal. And that's what you're looking for. But that's not what we're looking for. What we're looking for is something that just stays, right? Doesn't move for a really long time. And, you know, you see the wrist moving, so you can look for spikes there. But we're look, just looking at the arm, and it's just in one position a long time. And a way to find it is to just move it. Move it, and then look for the change in the graph, right? Did anything happen? No. We'll go back to 110. Let's go to Y. Did anything happen? Okay, we got a little something here. And then let's go to Z. 
You know, did anything happen? And we see a huge spike in Z. All right. So we moved it the direction we wanted, but albeit an extreme amount, but we see where the big movement, where the big change was. And that was in Z. So we know that we need to uh, alter Z to fix what we want. And in the next video, we'll do that.